to the best place in outer space. Kids Planet! I'm Nova, and today our mission is to learn about traveling and how to do it best. The world is pretty big. Really big, actually. Just think, how long did it take for you to get to school in your parents' car? Or in the school bus? 10 minutes? 20 minutes? Well, believe it or not, you probably went between 5 to 15 miles. Now think about how far Los Angeles is from New York City. It takes about five hours on an airplane. And it would take four to five days to drive from one city to the other. I really hope you like road trips. <laughs> but before hitting the road, we're going to learn how to get ready for the trip. Fasten your seatbelt, because this spaceship takes off in three, two, one. Here we go. Our mission today is to learn how to make trips not only really fun, but really comfortable. Catch some Z's on the ride. We're getting ready to take this show on the road. Traveling is so much fun, but we have to behave when we visit new places. Do you know why it's important to know how to behave while traveling? Well, millions of people are traveling the world every day. In cars, planes, Trains, boats, buses, and in many other forms of transportation. All these people run into one another at these places. So we have to be respectful to them as they move from one place to another. It's more than just being respectful though. It's also about being safe and smart. <laughs> knowing what to do and when to do it. So let's learn all about traveling on planes, trains, and cars. And you can become a superstar traveler. <laughs> I'm sure you know the first rule about traveling in a car, right? <laughs> Say it with me. Buckle your seat belt. <laughs> yes. You may have noticed that most buses don't have seat belts. This breaks the most important rule of driving. But don't worry, this is something that your bus driver knows. And they're trained to keep you very safe and out of danger. But that doesn't mean there aren't things we could do to help out. We can stay seated. The bus driver has to watch everyone on the bus, but also has to pay attention to the road. We can help by staying in our seat while the bus is moving. Don't get too loud. Your friends are on the bus with you, and that can be a lot of fun. But if the driver can't hear the sounds of traffic, he or she could have a hard time paying close attention. Short bus rides are the easiest thing to prep for. Shoes, check. Backpack, check. Homework, check. Sometimes you're traveling more than just a few miles to school. During the summer, many families take vacations or go to see their relatives. Some kids go to sleepaway camp. Have you ever gone to sleepaway camp? Or maybe gone on a long vacation and you had to pack up all your stuff. Close your eyes and remember the moment you got there. 
Did you have everything you needed? It happens to the best of us. We forget our favorite stuffed animal. Or at worst, we leave our toothbrush at home. No! My mom and dad usually help me pack, but occasionally, mom just tells me to pack my own bag. And since I don't want to forget anything, I've thought of the best way to do it. So we can make sure we have what we need. And so we don't miss out on any of the fun. Our friend Curious will help. Curious, what things do we need to pack for our trip? It depends on where you're traveling to. No matter what, you'll need clothes to wear. Thanks, Curious. Is anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? Fashion show! This shirt will be perfect for the day at the amusement park. And I can't go swimming without this bathing suit. If it's cold, I'll need a comfy jacket. Okay, surprise fashion show, check! Now let's take a trip to the bathroom and get your toothbrush. Mouthwash, comb, and brush. It's always a good habit to have your own shampoo to bring along, just in case. Bring whatever you'll need to stay entertained. Books, toys, maybe you can even watch some movies during the trip. It's important to be able to fit everything into your luggage, right? Here's a trick. If you make a game out of trying to fit everything into your bag, it can be really fun. Pretend it's a puzzle. See how you can get everything to fit perfectly together. Shoes can fit over here, pants over here, and that leaves a perfect space for my shirts. Now that we've got our bags packed, we're ready to go. We have to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll learn more about traveling by car and by plane, too. I can't wait. But before we do that, it's time for a Nova quiz. Here we go. Which kind of vehicle has only two wheels? A. Helicopter. B. Car. C. Unicycle. D. Motorcycle. Here's a hint. To use the brakes, you use your hands instead of your feet. The answer when we come back to the best place in outer space. Kids Planet! to have some more fun? Yay! Me too! But first, let's find out the answer to our Nova quiz. Here's the question. Which kind of vehicle has only two wheels? A. Helicopter. B. Car. C. Unicycle. D. Motorcycle. If you guess D, motorcycle, you're right! Motorcycles come in all shapes and sizes. And like a bicycle, the motorcycle has two wheels. So the rider balances the motorcycle when he or she rides it. Okay, it's time to get back to our adventure. Have you ever flown on a plane? If you have, you know how cool it can really be. Of course, if you've ever flown on a plane, then you also know that before you get in it, you have to get through the security check. 
People are coming to the airport from all over the world. With so many people coming from so many places, it's important not only to respect everyone's space and belongings, but also to be safe and stay close to your family. As people can be moving very fast. And some, well, some can be moving very slowly. Be patient. <laughs> Look, we're finally ready to board the plane and take our seat. You have to store your carry-on luggage in compartments above your seat or under your seat. And keep your fingers crossed. Maybe you'll get a window seat so you can look out when the plane takes off. You may be feeling butterflies in your stomach. But the real excitement is just about to begin. When everyone is seated and buckled up, you'll hear the roar of the engine and start speeding through to the runway, where you'll blast off with so much speed that you'll feel it pulls you against the back of your seat. <laughs> Don't worry, this is normal. After all, it takes a lot of power for a plane that big and heavy to go fast enough to take off. They're moving more than 200 miles per hour. Wow! It's quite an exciting experience from the moment you take off. Whether you're soaring through the sun rays and clouds, or looking down on all the city lights below. You could see mountains and rivers. Or you could be looking out at a blue ocean in all directions. Whether flying near or far, every airplane goes over safety rules before taking off. So make sure to put down your book or your game. Take off your headphones and listen. Let's make a planet list to go over the rules that we have to obey when we are on a plane. Are you ready? Very well. Number one. Don't make noise while flying. It is important to respect the space and comfort of others that are traveling with you. So don't make noise. Many of them could be reading their favorite book or taking a siesta. Number two. Don't leave your seat. Once you are in the air, you shouldn't get out of your seat. If you need to go to the bathroom, ask your mother or father to go with you. And finally, number three. Be nice to the flight attendants. They do everything possible to make sure our trip is comfortable. So we should show our gratitude by treating them courteously. When you arrive at your destination and you disembark, give them a big smile and say, thank you for everything. Now that we have the planet list, we only have to fasten our seat belts, relax and enjoy our trip. Once you're near landing time, the pilot will come on the speaker and let you know. This is your captain speaking. Prepare for landing. When we come back, we'll set out on the good old-fashioned road trip and talk about all the ways you can make the best of it. But before we go, it's time for another Nova quiz. Here we go. Which of these is the fastest way to travel? A, airplane. B, race car. C, train. D, boat. See if you can think of the answer. Don't go away. We'll be right back 
with more Kids Planet! We're back! Let's continue our incredible adventure! But before we do that, let's find out the answer to our Nova quiz. Remember the question? Which of these is the fastest way to travel? A. Airplane. B. Race car. C. Train. D. Boat. If you guessed A. Airplane, you are right! It may not look like it from the ground, but airplanes are actually moving way faster than any car could. Remember, just to take off, it needs to go more than 200 miles per hour. The second fastest means of transportation is the train. This is a very common way to travel. And just as in airplanes, we need to follow some rules to make our trip safe and relaxing. Fortunately, I have some planet tools in my hands that will show us how we should behave so our trip is more comfortable and friendly. One, if the train is coming from another stop, we should always wait until the passengers get off before boarding. We don't want to crash into them. <laughs> Two, if the car is full, go on to the next. You will find space to sit down comfortably there for sure. Three, once you're in the car, it is not right to put your feet on the seats nor put your toys or other things in the empty places. Maybe someone will need to sit there. Four, try to speak softly. In that way, you will show that you respect all the others that are with you in that tiny space. Up until now, we have learned many interesting things about traveling. But we are missing the most fun of them all. My parents are putting things in the car and we'll take the freeway for a trip. So far, we've learned how to pack our bags like a pro. And we've taken our first adventure in the skies. My mom and dad are packing up the car, and we're hitting the highway for a family road trip. We're even going to bring Comet and Astro. Have you ever gone on a long road trip? When you get in the car, it can be pretty exciting to think about getting to your destination. But sometimes, it's hard to keep that energy for the whole trip. It could take hours. But there are a few things we can do to make road trips not only a little easier on mom and dad, but more fun for everyone. <laughs> Chances are I'll be sharing the back seat with my brother Neutron. So let's make a planet list of things to check for before getting in the car. One, brush your teeth. Nothing is better than feeling super clean and fresh. And our teeth are really important, so we need to take care of them every day. Two, use the bathroom. Even if you don't think you have to go, try anyway. You don't want to be holding it in while you're driving for hours. Three, bring a good book, some drawing materials or games to keep you busy. Four, ask your mom or dad to fix you a snack and a delicious juice or water so you have refreshments for the trip. I hope this checklist helps you. Along the way, you'll probably get a chance to see some interesting things. Always have your camera ready. My dad always says, 
It's not as important to get to your destination as it is to enjoy the trip. You know something? He is so right! Depending on how far you travel, you'll see an amazing variety of scenery. The first time that I traveled with my family, we saw many beautiful places. We left the city behind with its tall buildings to cross through a forest with the greenest trees i would ever seen in my life. After a while, we went by cornfields. Then, I felt the heat of the desert with its big sand dunes. <laughs> and suddenly, I again saw trees and enormous mountains. It's also important to stop and stretch your legs when you take long trips. Rest stops are the ideal places to do it. There, you can use the bathrooms, buy something to eat, or even take pictures with your family. Some rest stops have incredible views. Remember that we still haven't arrived at our destination. We'll be back on the road really soon, and so we need to pay attention to some rules when we get out of the car. First, we need to leave our entertainment devices in the car. If we get distracted, we don't want to leave our books or toys in any rest stop. And two, it's super important to not get separated from your family, ever. Under no circumstances ever move away from them. You are in a strange place and very far from home. Your parents would be very worried if that were to happen. The good news is, when it comes to road trips, there aren't a bunch of things to worry about. In fact, you may find that the biggest problem is trying to find something on the radio that everyone likes. If that happens, maybe you and your family can just sing a song together. There are many activities that you can enjoy with your family on a road trip to make it more fun. How about we do a planet exercise with two games that we can play with our family? Okay, here we go. One, do you see what I see? That's my favorite game. It consists of choosing something around us and giving clues to the others to see if they can guess what we are looking at. Let's play a little. Hmm, I see see something with spots. Do you have any ideas what it is? Do you want a clue? Okay, it goes moo. Do you know? A cow! Right! <laughs> you see, it's fun! Two, guessing game. Think of your favorite song or movie. You can sing or imitate your favorite actor so your family can guess the right answer. Well, that's all our time for today. We had fun and we learned a lot. We learned how to be safe on the school bus and still have fun with our friends. Then we loaded up our bags and did it so we could fit the things we need in a small space. We learned how to behave in airplanes and trains to have a more comfortable trip. Finally, we learned how to have a fun road trip. If you don't enjoy looking at the scenery, you can play games with your family, read your favorite book, or maybe even take a nap. That's what I do. <laughs> These rules also work for any type of trip, even in submarines and hot air balloons, <laughs> even spaceships that search for adventures in the universe of values. Don't you think? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I can't wait to get there. Now it's time to say goodbye. But don't worry, because we'll see each other again soon. Right here in the best place in outer space. Kids Planet! See you 